Hello everybody, welcome to Wyoming Outdoors. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to make a charcoal grill of bricks. But first, before we do that, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe on your way in. And I want to give a special thanks out there to a couple people on the East Coast that we know. Ron and Nisha Bright, the uh, big fans of our channel and family friends, so shout out to them. I also want to shout out to all the people that have been supporting me, trying to get my channel up and going. I really appreciate it. So, it's a beautiful day here in Wyoming. It's early spring in the Rockies here, but uh, unfortunately we're still at home. <laughs> um, with all the virus stuff going around, and, and so we're going to do some home projects here, and, and uh, hope you enjoy them. Uh, one of the things from one of my last videos. If you haven't seen them, you should go check them out on do-it-yourself lump charcoal at home. Uh, I had a, a particular viewer ask me, well, what are you going to do with the charcoal now? Well, you know, I gave that some thought and I thought, well, I'm going to check out some ideas. Well, I found this pile of brick in the alley here behind my house and I talked to the neighbor guy and he said I could have it. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to show you how you can uh, make your own little grill at home in case you don't have one or yours, you don't have no gas for your propane grill. You can do this up and uh, use some of that charcoal that uh, I made the other day. So what we're going to do first is I found this piece of metal here back behind the garage. It's just a flat stock piece of metal. Anything will do as long as it can't get no fire through it. So that's where we're going to start. We're going to lay this on this table here just to prove to you that the, it's not going to melt down. So, so what we want to do is we want to take uh, our bricks. doesn't matter what kind they are. Just uh, We're going to lay them out three in a row here. Kind of center them up on here. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to come around it and make a border. got to be perfect bricks, just bricks. If you want to make a bigger, a bigger one, you could, uh, you could go with uh, cement blocks or half blocks or whatever you wanted to do. So we're going to get these started around here. That's kind of an odd one. Hope everybody's enjoying their day. Um, I know everybody's freaking out about this virus thing, but, you know, maybe more people just need to get outdoors, get away from people, and uh, you won't have to worry so much about all those little things. You won't have to worry about the big run on toilet paper or anything like that. So, Okay, so we got our first roll around here. Try to square them up a little bit. Okay, we're going to keep on building it. We're just going to offset them a little bit as we go. So we got a couple other videos coming up. We got a shed hunting video we're working on. And uh, we're also working on a trout gear video. So that'll be coming out pretty soon. It won't be long, the lakes and streams will be ready for trout fishing. Of course, here in Wyoming, trout season's open year round here. Well, we're just building this thing up. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, we're on our next layer here. We just kind of offset them, and you can see how they are. Just keep building them up. Okay, we're going to take this odd size one, we're going to put it in the back where it ain't going to matter. So, if you take a look inside here, you can see how it turned out. You got a nice little perfect square in there. Okay, so I got this old grate that I've had a long time. And it's going to fit perfect on there just like that. So, 
Now that we got it built, we're going to go ahead and uh, try it out. We're going to get some charcoal going in there. Some of my little charcoal that I made here at the house on my last videos. Get my little pine starter in there. couple little pieces of paper to go in there to get it going. Doesn't have to be fancy. Okay, a little more starter here. Alright, now if you remember these, these briquettes that I made at the house here the other day. I'm going to get some of them started in here. So once we get this all done, we're going to cook us up a pot of coffee on here just to show you that it works good. A little more charcoal in here to start. Okay, so let's see if we can get this thing going in the wind. The wind always blows here in Wyoming. Of course, it's going to come off just as soon as I try to light this. So this little fire pit here, grill, you can uh, you can take that down and take it camping with you at the beach or the river or the lake or wherever you wanted to. Um, I got a buddy that's always out of propane for his grill, so this would be perfect for him. You can tear it down, throw it in the garage, build it back real quick, it only takes a couple minutes. top put on here. So there you go. Quick, easy grill right here. You put a piece of metal under it. You can use it on a tabletop. If you don't want to do that, you can put it out in the yard. Get my coffee going on there. You could put a skillet on there. You could throw some baked potatoes on there, wrap them up with tinfoil, put on there. You could do some hot dogs on there for the kids. Cook you up some bannock. There's so many options that you can do with charcoal that you can't do with propane. Well, Hope everybody enjoys this video. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to have some coffee. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.